Hi, I'm Yuba Milkovich. I'm the Chief Product Officer of Automatic, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what Automatic is. Automatic is a smartphone app and a small hardware accessory that plugs into your car. Any car since 1996 has a standard port that this goes into. And so what it does is whenever you drive, your car's onboard computer talks to your smartphone through this little guy, and we call this the link. And what Automatic does for you is it becomes your smart driving assistant. It can help you save money on gas by giving you feedback on your driving style so you can actually do things that, that use less gas. It always remembers where you parked so you never have to, to lose your car again. It can call for help in a crash, actually detect a crash and call for help and make sure that it gets to you. And then finally, because it's talking to your car's onboard computer, it can actually read the diagnostic information and tell you why that little check engine light came on, recommend some good mechanics in your area, or even let you fix the problem yourself right from your smartphone. So all together, Automatic is there to help you be a smarter driver. All you have to do to make Automatic work is just have your phone with you. The link will detect that your car is on and then connect to your phone in the background. So your phone can be in your, in your bag, on the seat, in the trunk, it doesn't really matter. All you need to do is have your phone with you and the whole thing will just work that way. So you don't ever have to, for example, mark a location on your phone where you parked or even tell it, hey, my check, in line, check engine light is on right now, what does it mean? All of that information comes at you proactively um, through, through the link wirelessly. But Automatic does communicate with you in three ways when you're driving. Um, it alerts you to three particular things that have been shown to have a really, really big impact on fuel efficiency, alerting you if you brake hard, accelerate rapidly, or speed over 70 miles an hour. Those three things alone, if you reduce, um, if you reduce them, can save you in the hundreds of dollars a year. Um, and that's because the average American family spends around $3,000 on gas every single year. So the kinds of proportions we're talking about amount to a lot of money. So, for example, if you were in a rush to a meeting, you might be kind of accelerating into a stop, which would force you to press on your heart on your brakes. Oops. Like we're doing right now. <laughs> um, and the link will give you a little chirp like that to let you know, oh, hey, that maneuver you just did, that actually matters. That actually will contribute to a higher fuel cost. And it's... It's enough, we've found through our research, to just give people that little nudge, people who are motivated to, to adjust their driving, who are motivated to save money on gas, it's enough to give them that little nudge to let them know, hey, that thing you just did, that actually matters. You can then review your trip afterwards, see it in the timeline, and even see where those little events that it chirped at you for occurred. And at the end of the week, actually, well, and throughout the week, we give you a weekly drive score, which is essentially a sum of of those events over the number of miles that you drove. And so if you can keep a high score, you're doing essentially everything you can in terms of your driving style to improve your fuel efficiency. Um, when you turn the car off, the link communicates with the car's onboard computer and lets the phone know that your car was just turned off. We pull a GPS point with your phone and then process the trip that you just took in the cloud. And when it's done, it'll appear here and show you where you parked. Okay. So we drove from Mississippi Street to Bryant Street, and you can actually see the route that we took. 2.1 miles, and we spent half half a dollar on gas. Sure did. Yep. And wow. that was that one rough break that we took. Where? Right there, where that purple dot Oh, is. the purple dot. Right. Okay. And all of this information is calculated automatically. We didn't have to open the phone to make this happen. Okay. And then Here's the aggregate for the week. We show you what your average fuel efficiency was. Even for cars that don't show that on the dashboard, we can calculate it. Um, we can show you what your, how much you drove in terms of m minutes and miles. We tell you also how much you spent on fuel. And this is a really interesting number. This number is calculated not just based on what your car is rated to get, but based on what you actually, um, your actual fuel efficiency for these trips and based on the price you paid at the pump when you filled up. So because we know where the car is parked and we have a database of gas stations and daily gas prices, we can actually tell you, you paid, you know, three ninety five per gallon for those seven and a half gallons. Awesome. So let's talk about diagnostic. All right. um, one of the most common things, uh, one of the most common reasons that your check engine light comes on is because your gas cap is loose. Mm -hmm. But when that light comes on, you can't tell the difference immediately 
between that case or if your engine is overheating. And so what Automatic does is it reads the, the diagnostic trouble codes that come out of the car, translates them into English, and tells you actually what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And so I can, I can simulate that right now. That'd be awesome. So what I'm going to do is... You don't want to film this. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to um, unplug a sensor. So you can see that the check engine light of this car just lit up. And that's because I, I manually turned it on. But what that will do is that it will cause a little notification to appear up here. And if you're driving when this happens, you'll get an actual pop-up notification outside of the app to show you this. And when you tap on it, it'll actually show you the two engine codes that are being reported. Describe the problem and then offer, in many cases, a solution. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the, the mass airflow circuit is malfunctioning. And the solution here is to reset this light and to see if the problem comes back. This could be, you know, a mistaken, this could be a false alarm, essentially. And so we let you, right here from the app, you can find nearby mechanics and we tie in with Yelp to show you well-reviewed mechanics in your area if you want to, you know, reach out to them directly. Or if it's something like this, you can actually turn off the engine light yourself. So I'll show you that if you want. If you okay. can actually see it. Actually push that button, and then once you push that guy... <laughs> that's fast. Yep, that's it. So that's the same thing that the mechanic might do at the shop if you took your car in and paid him 100 bucks, right? If it was something like this, where there was actually not a problem, if your gas cap was loose, for example, that trip to the mechanic would might cost you between 75 and and $100 right. just to get that light clear. So you guys probably aren't all that popular with mechanics. You know what? The mechanics we've talked to who want to help you have a great time with your car and keep your car healthy don't want to be fixing these kinds of problems. So they would rather that you bring their car in for real things that they can help you with. It's not actually fun for them to do. How do you want to change the world? You know, how do you want to put a dent in the universe? It's a great question. One of the one of our, our, our goals was to make driving smarter. And to do that on a large scale is is definitely what we're what we're after as a company. That's why we, we went this route of, of selling directly to the customer. Um, and offering it without a subscription fee to get, get it in the hands of as many people as possible. So finding a way to, to save people trips to the mechanic, in, in reducing anxiety around car repair, saving a life, um, and, and, in, and saving gas in the end. I mean, small changes, if we all do our part, can have a really large impact. So that's, that's where we're looking to.